Hey guys, welcome to another automation series for you today. In today's video, we'll be automating Nginx setups. Um, so in all my like home lab series, I usually you know create this uh, CA certificate, copy it over. We already have the video that should be our last video here. Um, if you if you haven't seen it, you should go check that one out. And now we will have this one set up in Jinx, this playbook set up in Jinx in Ansible, um, and essentially get all the configurations in and restart it, and then should be golden. So um, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's get started. All right. So what we'll do here is go to our Ansible playbooks directory here. We will uh, open the web IDE. You can do this in like your Visual Studio code or whatever. I figured it's just easier for a demo purposes to do this through the IDE. So what we'll do is create a, a playbook. We'll call it like setup in Jinx .yaml. Um, so we'll just go through the, you know, your, your basic header name setup in Jinx TLS host. Um, so we'll slap the host name with default being localhost. And then we will create the task for this. So the, I mean, first task that makes most sense, install Nginx if it's not installed. Um, so we'll use the Ansible built-in yum module here, and we will just install Nginx state. We'll just install the latest one, um, which should be pretty easy. Then what we'll do, um, so after we usually install Nginx, we usually, you know, set up all the configuration files, get everything sorted out, replace the things that need to be replaced. So we're going to do this slightly differently. Um, we're going to actually put the configuration file in our repo and then copy that out. Um, but we will put it in, in a Jinja template. So essentially it will update everything with the variables that we define in it. So what we'll do is copy config over. We'll use the Ansible built-in template module. Um, the source will be templates, and then we'll just name it nginxconfig.j2. So we need to create this. Um, and then in the destination, we're going to put this in Etsy nginx, nginx.conf. Um, and then we'll set the mode to be 0644. And then, you know, after we have the configuration done, we will restart nginx. So uh, we'll just use the service module, built-in service module. And we'll just make sure that Nginx is restarted. So that's pretty much it for the playbook. Not much. Um, the hard part is obviously making sure that we get everything in the template correct. So what we'll do is add another directory. We'll call it templates because that's where we kept the source. And then in here, we'll add a file and we'll call it nginxconf.j2. Um, so what we'll actually do is root add demo. Well, log into our demo server here real quick. We'll actually install Nginx so we can get the base configuration file. Um, I don't I don't know it off the top of my head, obviously, what the configuration file should look like. So that's why we're doing it like this. So now we can cat Etsy Nginx, Nginx.conf. So we'll, we'll copy all this in here. So we'll just copy, you know, the base configuration and paste it in here. We'll do our thing here. So we'll uncomment the TLS section. Alright, and then we'll update um, the file here. So um, essentially what happens here is we can variableize and parameterize everything. So in this case, this is will always be the hostname.dragon.local.cert. This key will also be similar to be hostname.dragon.local.key. And then the last variable that we will add here is the proxy pass. In this case, proxy address. We'll just name it that variable. And that should be pretty much it. Um, obviously, sometimes depending on the configuration, we might need extra configurations. But to leave it by default, we'll just have these be the default ones for what we need. So what we'll do here is commit this, um, set up in Jinx, commit that. And then what we can go here is we can go to our AWX repository. We're going to, I'm going for the project to up, um, sync here. Give it a few seconds. There we go. And the sync is automatic, um, based off of my playbooks, it will kick off automatically. 
Okay, so now that that's sync, we can add a template to call it setup nginx. We'll set the inventory to be inventory. We'll select the playbook to be setup nginx. Credentials is root for the login to SSH, and we will save that. Then we need to set up the surveys. So in here, the obviously the host name. So we need the host name of which one we want. And then we also want to add um, the proxy address. And we can add an example in case I forget. So for example, HTTP localhost and like 8080 or something like that. That way it's just an easy, this is what I'm expecting. Obviously we could do it like multiple different ways. We could have, we could have done like proxy address in here and then done like colon a proxy port and, and you could have been like you know more specific and stuff like that you can be more specific less specific so in this case i just am going to just say hey the proxy address the whole address right um so you can you can separate it though if you really want to do more variables but keep it simple it's usually my my way of doing it um and so that's pretty much all there so let's let's give it a launch so say for example we are running demo 2 and we want you know the proxy address to be localhost 8080 right so what we'll do here and the certs are already there based off of my last playbook that we ran um for the step ca stuff so everything should be essentially there and ready so we'll watch it it should install nginx this only takes a few seconds similar to like how i started on the demo box um originally so give it a few seconds so we can see that it gave it a few seconds, it loaded, um, and then it copied the config over and then restarted. So it actually restarted because it changed. So what we can do here is log in to our demo two. We can actually see Nginx is running um, as of 19 seconds ago. And we can look at the Nginx configuration and see that we have the cert, the key, and the specific proxy pass, and no errors, everything ended up installing correctly. So there you go, guys. That's how you can create an Ansible playbook to set up Nginx um, and uh, get the configuration file working. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.